Hi, my name is Sean Thomas Odyssey, and today we will be interviewing Miss Una Crate, the main character from my magical mystery series, The Wizard of Dark Street. So, h hello, Una. I'm glad you could be here with us today. Um, I was hoping you could tell us all a little bit about your latest adventure in the book, The Magician's Tower. Well, to start things off, I'm still trying to get my detective business off the ground, but things aren't going so well. No? Why? What seems to be the matter? The problem is that three months have gone by since I solved the mystery of the wizard's disappearance, and since then, no one has approached me to solve a major case. Oh, I see. No customers. Precisely. Well, there was one case regarding a missing nail file, but that was quite boring. <laughs> Well, that must be terribly frustrating for you. It has been, that is, until I decided to participate in the Magician's Tower contest. Oh, what's that? It's a 500-year-old contest that is held once every five years. It takes place in an enormous crooked tower that is filled with all sorts of treacherous obstacles. Oh, well, sounds very exciting. It is. You see, each day two new challenges are presented to the contestants. The first is always a mental challenge. Riddles or codes or hidden anagrams, things like that, which we must solve before moving to the second task. The second task is always a physical challenge, such as racing on old flying carpets or battling a horde of angry apes. Each day, the last contestant to finish is eliminated. Well, it seems to me like you'll do quite well. You are a natural magician, after all. Uh, you have the advantage of using magic. You would think so, but that snooty brat Isadora Eerie and her new boyfriend have entered the contest. And Abba Eerie, her brother, has entered as well. That's some stiff competition because, well, because I have agreed not to use magic during the contest. Wow, well, this sounds like it'll take all of your concentration to win. Yes, well that may be true, but during the competition, another mystery comes up that I must solve. A punch bowl goes missing. A punch bowl? A magic punch bowl. One that has the powers to tell the future and the past. If it is found, it could tell me once and for all if I am truly responsible for my mother's and sister's deaths three years ago. Because if I'm not... If you're not then you would be relieved of an enormous burden on your heart. You could stop feeling so guilty. Well, I could see why you would want to find this punch bowl. It sounds to me like you'll have your hands full with this latest adventure. I sure hope it all turns out okay. But you already know how it turns out. You wrote it. <laughs> well, that's true. But they don't know how it will turn out. Hmm. Well, they'll just have to read the books to find out what happens. That's very logical. Thank you. I wouldn't have it any other way. No, of course not. Well, uh, thanks for talking with us, Una. My pleasure. Bye for now. And I hope you all come to visit me on Dark Street. Bye. Bye. Well, thanks for listening in. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I also hope you enjoy reading the second book in the Wizard of Dark Street series, the Magician's Tower. Ask for it in your local bookstore. And we'll see you on Dark Street.